Good morning team. 5.30 in the morning on day two of discovering the Angkor Wat complex. My driver just dropped me off somewhere in the middle of the night and said walk that way. So I just walked through the Cambodian jungle for about 20 minutes up this mountain. We're apparently behind me in just a short while we'll be able to see the sunrise over Angkor Wat. It just casts such a beautiful hue across the whole jungle and Angkor Wat. Like you can see the mist coming up from the jungle. Oh man, absolutely gorgeous. This is really embarrassing. This morning it was so dark I got here, I walked past this giant pyramid temple. That's where I was supposed to see the sunrise from. Whoopsie, keep an eye out for it. And the first actual temple stop today is Pre Khan, another temple built in the 12th century. This temple is a place built for learning and spirituality, with its name actually meaning Royal Sword. Let's go take a look. Jeez, all these temples are just awe-inspiring. I'm just, the dense jungle around them. It makes me think, were they ever lost and did they need to be uncovered again by archeologists? If you know, can you let me know in the comments? Imagine stumbling across one of these temples. All of these temples are just majestic, man. They are so cool. This one really is like a maze. Behind me is the central point and I think it's got like a big cross intersection in it. So remember which way you came in. I also just wanted to give a quick shout out to the people of Cambodia. Hello. I see a lot of the people who watched my first video in Cambodia, the Phnom Penh guide and first impressions day was a lot of Cambodians and a lot of welcome comments. So just wanted to say thank you. Um, I feel very warmly welcomed here and I'm really enjoying my time. Just walking into Ta Som Temple now and it looks like the entrance is about to keel over. Have a look. Looks like it's about to slant that way. This is a bit nerve wracking going through these temples. You see ruins everywhere and all these restoration attempts to keep the things upright. It just looks like, they look like houses of cards. Like if one brick fell, like a whole chamber could collapse. <laughs> Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Made my way through the temple. Now I'm going to check out the famous East Gate. Apparently it's captivating. So the East Gate is famous for two reasons. The magnificent carved faces at the top of the gate. And also the fact that it has been pretty much enthralled by this giant fig tree. This is Prerup Temple, built in the 10th century. Famous amongst most travelers for its cool elephant statues on each corner. They're quite funky. And this is the mighty Prerup Temple. Another one built in the 10th century. It is huge. So let's go take a look. Stepping into history again. Oh man. Another day of temple hopping. 
This is the last stop for the day, but again, what makes it such an enjoyable experience is that each temple, although there is some similarities, I'll give you that, the experience of walking through them are completely different though. This one feels like an absolute colossus. So this temple pre-rup is associated with funeral ceremonies mostly, and it is believed to be a symbolic representation of Mount Miru, which is the cosmic mountain in Hindu mythology. It really is impressive. I know I throw that around a lot, but this one really is impressive. 